I hate a fare for this bike. Remember last time I was on this bike, riding out to Yamnik. It is time to return this bike and never go through this pain again. I'm riding into Bled, we've had so much rain lately. It's time to get out and take some beautiful photos again. Let's go. We Why do I do this to myself? All for the vlogs, all for the vlogs, all for the vlogs, all for you guys, all for the vlogs, all for you guys. Whew. Bike riding and camera gear do not go together in the same sentence. But that is that mode of transport done. Time to get something to eat for dinner and then on to the next mode of transport. Whew. Ah, the second mode of transport and the much preferred mode of transport, the car. We've got about a 15, 20 minute drive to the location for sunset. So cue the B-roll. I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to start all over Even though we know This is the hard way but I, We can't be heartache together This is the hard way to better we can't be hiding together. This is the hard way to better. We can't be hiding together. This is the hard way to better. So managed the viewpoint and possibly stuffed up. I thought it's gonna be an absolutely perfect location to come for sunset. It is absolutely terrible. Right on sunset, the light is so harsh. So I have to reconsider. I actually really wanna shoot here in the winter with a cloud inversion, fresh snow. The imagination I've got for this valley is gonna look absolutely beautiful during the winter. But I think for this location right now, I think sunrise is the best place to do. So I'm gonna sit down, have some dinner right now and just relax and watch this beautiful sunset occur. So although this might not be the perfect time to shoot this image, it is an absolutely beautiful location to sit here and watch the sunset. Right down the valley is somewhere where I want to do some filming in the next couple of weeks, Bohin Lake, and also there is another gorge there that I want to take you guys through. It's going to make a beautiful image. It's an absolutely incredible place. So just to give you a reference where I am, to the left of me is where I shot the church image two or three weeks ago for sunrise. I'm basically up on top of that mountain now, looking all the way down Bohin Valley. Now the sky right behind the valley is just not doing anything right now. So I've actually changed the composition that I originally wanted to do. I was here yesterday during the middle of the day and conditions were completely different. That's how I know that it's not a great sunset location. But I've basically now got the new kit lens. I've got the 
18 to 55 mil, the F2.8 uh, all the way to F4. It's the first time shooting with this. So I'm uh, really keen to get back and see how sharp this lens is. I have owned this before, but I cannot remember how sharp it is. So I actually am really interested. To the right hand side, right behind the camera now, and also behind me, the sky is just going off. Of course, it always happens when you want to shoot somewhere, the sky is just lighting up red where you don't want it to occur. But now I'm basically shooting just over 35 mil with a format high-tech polarizer. I put the polarizer on to cut through all the glare because it is probably 10 to 15 kilometers the actual lake itself. So we're getting a lot of mountain haze and a lot of glare. So with the base image, I want to sh uh, shoot with the polarizer and actually without the polarizer because you guys know I always like to shoot and get as many things in camera as possible. So I'm shooting F9, ISO 200, and just over 35 mil, so about 50 mil in full frame equivalent. And that is giving me uh, one and a half second shutter speed. So you can tell the light right now is really low. I actually am exposure bracketing, but I only really want to exposure bracket for the sky and to blend in with the foreground. I might get it enough out of one image, enough detail in the shadows and highlights, but I'd rather have that information. So now I'm going to go through and expose with a two second timer, the base image, and there's two little villages down the valley. I'm going to wait for them to turn on and just enjoy this beautiful view here. So I've just went through and reviewed the base image that I exposed about 20 minutes, half an hour ago. And what I'm doing right now with the inbuilt Fuji, I just want to take you through, I want to try and achieve the lights to blend into the post-production side of the base image. But how am I achieving that? I want to explain to you, just this is something I do in the situation like this. It only works for the situation like this. Down in the valley, there's cars driving all the way around corners and it's taking a long time for them to get from A to B. So what I'm doing now with the inbuilt intervalometer in the Fuji, I've got an F18 because I'm only worrying about the light trails. It's giving me 30 seconds and still at ISO 200. I'm just continually taking the images because it's gonna capture the car going all the way along the valley and then I can join all those images together for a base image of the lights and then for the lights blend into the original base image. So that is how I'm achieving it. Taking about 10 images, going back, reviewing the settings, maybe putting it down to F14, F9, whatever, but still making sure it's 30 second exposures and still using the intervalometer. So that's what I'm doing now and just waiting, waiting, waiting to get as many images as possible. Then I can use them all together for the lights to blend into the base image. That is how I achieve that. So now it is completely pitch black and I've taken the images that I've wanted to take. I've sat here for the last 20 minutes with the intervalometer just going off. It is really beautiful to sit here and watch the sun go down and now I get completely black. It is so beautiful here, it really, really is. The sound of the insects in the background, just the solitary feeling of being out here is, is why I absolutely love photography. But I must say on that situation, the image isn't what I was after. I stuff this completely up as my light goes out. Everything tonight has just not gone the way I wanted it. This location deserves so much better. From a photography standpoint, the situation of being here, having dinner and watching the sunset is, is absolutely why I love photography. But the image is why I come here. It's not exactly what I was after tonight. So there I have actually stuffed up. Sunrise, winter photography, I will be back here to shoot this image. That is a guarantee because a cloud inversion or a beautiful, beautiful sunrise is gonna look absolutely spectacular here. So here is the image that I've captured tonight. It's something that you're gonna witness in about three or four months time when I'm back here. The blend of the light trails with the base image to give me this final result.
That is the final image and that is something similar to what you can expect in the coming future. Next time I see you guys, I'll probably be down in the bottom of the valley in Bohin photographing either the gorge or the lake itself. Preferably both over two weeks because it's a really beautiful location and I want to shoot it before the winter season because obviously in the winter it's completely different and we'll be revisiting a lot of places that I've shot. That is the image I've got from today, but lesson learnt. Location scouting is so important. And tonight I stuffed up. I'm happy to admit that the overall situation was exactly what I was after, but the photography wasn't. Next time I'll capture bigger and better things from this location. That is it for me today. Looking down Bohin Valley. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. So we made it. <coughs> Pickled onion. So now it is com. <coughs>